the liver ultrasound tests were back. So I saw what my liver doctor wrote. And Good morning, guys. Check it out. Pumpkins! Fall is in the air, although it's, it's kind of beautiful. I do have a flannel on. I've worn three flannel shirts this week. Welcome to the season where that's all I wear. And <laughs> I'm gonna go move the sprinkler. As you can see, the grass is coming in, but there are some weak spots in the lawn. I think particularly where it's sloped, uh, I think some of the grass seed washed out when we got that hard rain, I think like a week into the grass being planted. But look, it looks green back there, which is a huge improvement. There's definitely some spots that need some tender loving care and <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm trying to trying to be real gentle with the grass in those spots where it looks like it looks like you know it's just a little bit on the struggle bus. Is it? Yeah. You know what they say. Be tender with your grass. Tender. Speaking of fall, Mary and oh. I are are all out enjoying apples and caramel and coffee. I feel like there's something else fall. Oh, the pumpkins, of course. Yes. You know. Pumpkins. Pump pumpkins everywhere. We need to figure out where to put all these pumpkins. I know I'm so excited. <laughs> Cheers. Hey there. I don't know why I said that. Whatever. Hey there. Uh I just finished loading the dishwasher basically because my watch told me to get up. And so I was like, okay, I'll do the dishes. So I accomplished what my watch wanted and I got the dishes done. Those are both victories, I, I would say. I also just got the notification on my phone that the liver ultrasound tests were back. So I saw what my liver doctor wrote and she said that um, it looks stable, which is what we expected and what we hoped for is that it would be stable. And I just looked through, I didn't realize that I'd actually be able to look at the ultrasound pictures. Um, they had the images on there, it's really cool. So I looked at some of those. I absolutely don't know anything about how to read them, but they looked cool. And um, I mean, you can tell that my liver looks spotty, like cirrhotic basically. And so I can kind of tell that but I couldn't tell you. No, I, I don't know anything about those images. Um, yeah, I've just been doing my day, doing my thing. I, my lungs were strangely congested today, but between the, uh, what, two days with the pleurisy pain and then the day of the migraine, my lungs have just been on kind of a wild ride this week or in the last week. So anyway, my lungs feel totally fine now. It was just kind of a strange earlier part of the day. I've been doing something I love doing. I have been painting. So I'm having fun doing that, getting up, doing the dishes, doing my vest. I actually am able to paint while I'm doing my vest, which is so crazy to me. Because usually you think, oh, you have to stop your life and do your medical treatment. But it's really fun that I'm able to do painting while I'm doing my vest. I probably couldn't do the detail work, <clears throat> like the detail work. So part of the process is I paint the pots first. I don't always do like all 18 at once, but um, 
that's just how many fit. I like measured out the paper and this is how many fit on a page. But anyway, I paint the pot first and then I go in with the detail work with this little brown marker and add accents. I like to highlight where the pot was broken and smudges of dirt and that sort of thing. Kind of imagine the journey that pot has been through, right? Oh, this is where I stopped when my watch said, stand up. So you can kind of see the difference. Like if you look at the difference between this one and this one. I just, I like how the dark lines bring contrast. And I probably wouldn't be able to do the contrasting work, the like more detailed work while I'm doing my vest, or maybe it would just create some really, some pots with a lot of character. Maybe, I'll, I'll let you know if I have success with that. Update, it's the next morning, and I just tried doing some detail work while I'm doing my vest, <laughs> and it kind of worked. But um, Peter is upstairs filming a podcast right now. He's interviewing our friend, and they're recording that. So I'm just kind of staying downstairs. I was blasting the music and I realized I should probably not sing so loud because he might be able to hear me. So if you watch that podcast and you hear some noise in the background, it was probably me just singing my little heart out. And small update about the pumpkins. We love them so much. It is so much fun to look outside and see the green grass and the little pumpkins, little splashes of color. And speaking of splash of color, we had a cardinal dancing around on our deck under the uh, table earlier, so that was fun. Thank you for joining um, Mary's afternoon chat where we talk about all things plants, cacti, and birds. Super. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, super. Super, super. We just dropped off things. We dropped off things. <laughs> packages. Packages, own packages. I recorded a podcast with a friend from college this afternoon, and it was so fun. Whoop, whoop. And now we are going to eat leftover chicken noodle soups. Chicken noodle soups. It's been a really good meal because so good. We can eat it at every meal. Yeah. And it feeds us. And I'm guessing tomorrow at lunch will be the last. Actually, maybe tonight. It'll tomorrow at lunch. Good. Yeah will be the last um, leftovers that we have, but it's really good. It doesn't give us a stomach ache, which is always a good thing. My bad. <laughs> oh! What? That peach cobbler we made last night. Ooh, that was so good. Should we make a mini one? Well, with this one peach. Okay. Oh wait, apple. Ooh, apple and peach? Mmm. We are just celebrating fall today. We are having our soups and just having some <laughs> apple cider. Ah, oh, Peter! Oh, it's my wrist. <laughs> oh no, put it down. I'll get it. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I really don't think you are. Um, the joke is that that jar I had, you probably can't tell on the video, but it is half gallon. Like, so big for a drinking glass, but it's the only jar we had in the cabinet clean at the moment. So, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a huge jug.
I can't. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, thank you. Wow. You're welcome. Picture. Hi, buds. Hi. Does that smell good? I agree. <sighs> Guys, every evening I come out here and I soak up this fall weather and just our lovely deck. Um, we really love it out here and it's really relaxing. But speaking of fall, I have a couple of new flavors of kombucha to try with you guys. You ready for this? I went out on a limb with these two flavors. I'm trying pumpkin and apple, apple pie. All right. So let's try pumpkin first. I put pumpkin puree and pumpkin pie spices in it. Let's see. It doesn't seem overly carbonated, which surprises me. Let's taste it. Hey, that's pretty good. I think I need to let that sit longer to ferment a little longer. But the flavor... I think it's spot on. That's a subtle pumpkin pie flavor. I, I legitimately thought that I wouldn't like this. And I like it. Maybe I won't let that ferment longer. I might just drink that tonight. Okay, let's try apple pie. I actually put some fresh slices of ginger in with the apple pie. So for this, I did apple cider and apple pie spices. So like cinnamon, nutmeg, I don't know, wait, I forget what I put in there. But let's see, okay, that's that seems a little more carbonated. So I guess the pumpkin. I mean, I feel like pumpkin has plenty of sugar in it. I don't know why that didn't ferment as well. But let me set you guys in the cabbage here. There you go. All right, apple pie. Oh, that's delicious. Guys, apple pie kombucha. Mary and I, we, we told you our name for our kombucha company, right? It's called Scoby Snacks. Like Scooby Snacks, but Scoby Snacks. Because Scoby is the... the thing that makes the kombucha, the symbiotic culture of yeast and bacteria. And... so, Scoby Snacks. Apple pie and pumpkin pie. Our newest flavors. We don't actually have a kombucha company, but we pretend that we do. Mm. That, it's got the ginger, which is kind of kind of subtle, but it gives it a little kick. And the the cider, I think the the ferment time on this one was perfect because the yeast eats the sugar in the kombucha, and that's what carbonates it. And so, the longer you let it ferment the more acidic it gets and less sugary it gets. So this one doesn't taste too sweet. It's like the perfect, mm. Who would have thought apple pie? Mm. That cinnamon in there, it's a nice finish. You wanna tell us about your late night snack? We don't look tired at all. I grabbed the, yeah, they're on the counter over there. I took the pumpkin, I made two, things of mm -hmm. pumpkin spice. I think that's probably a better pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice, whatever you want to call it, kombucha. I took those out. I'm going to let them ferment for another day. See if that carbonates more. I don't know. Play Good around night. with it. As always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Ollie.